in spiritual teachings and, and uh, contemplative traditions that probably many of us have been involved with in one form or another. Um, we kind of suffer from this illusion, and I think many of the traditions sort of seem to reinforce this, that there's something that we have to do in order to, um, well, what, realize whatever it is that we're, we're trying to realize, sense of indivisibility, sense of um, freedom, sense of openness, a sense of awareness, um, sense of presence, and so on. And, you know, as I, as I see it and experience it and, and share it with others, um, it's really much more the, the practice, if you will, is much more seeing that all of those things that I was just talking about, the freedom, the openness, the indivisibility, the presence, are simply the way reality actually is. So it really isn't so much about us doing something to create something, to make something happen so much as seeing what's already happening, what's already awake, what's already alive, what's already arising, what's already shining. And in a way it is as simple as looking and seeing. In fact, our looking and our seeing, if you will, um, our perceiving is the very activity of, of, of reality itself. The perceiving of this moment is it. This is the dynamic miracle, the capacity to perceive right here, just as it is. I mean, it's, Right, it's completely, truly unfathomable, isn't it? That, that what we call perceiving, what we call experiencing is arising spontaneously. And it's like, you know, it's like a, the sense of aliveness that's just here, right? Effortlessly present. The sense of being alive is just here, isn't it? It's not something that I'm working, that we're working to create as an individual. That sense is here spontaneously, effortlessly. The beingness of this moment, the existence, the presence of this moment is here, isn't it? Not because of something that we're doing to make it be here. the presence of what is in all the myriad seeming forms and shapes, the presence of what is can take and they're countless, aren't they? aren't they? And the diversity that this shows up as, that the presence of reality shows up as this unfathomable, um, boundless diversity seeming diversity of everything all the all the qualities distinct all the flavors distinct every instant unique but this moment that's here inexplicably just here <laughs> in a very real sense it's not like a buildup to being here. It's just here instantaneously, isn't it? We can't actually find an experience. It's really, we can find in memory, the sense of a timeline of creation of the moment, right? Of something leading to something else, leading to something else. But that's actually not what we're experiencing. We're experiencing instant, instant, instantaneity. We're experiencing just this here-ness that's just here without any findable 
thing preceding it <laughs> because it's just here inexplicably. Just like the flick of a switch and just boom, an entire universe of experiencing just here without us making it happen. I mean, how extraordinary that is. And the knowing of this moment, you know, traditions talk all the time about awareness. You know, so many of the traditions, right? In this, the, all these countless practices to cultivate more awareness and more presence, which is one way of understanding presence and awareness. But, but the knowing of this moment is inseparable from the moment. So this moment is self-known. This moment of experiencing that's here magically and this miraculously is known. Experience and the knowing of experience is one thing. So the knowing that magical awareness is spontaneously appearing inseparably from the moment. So there's no need to do something to make that happen. It is happening constantly happening. It is the happening of the moment, <laughs> is the knowing of the moment. Feel the way in which that is so, that this knowing, this knowingness is just here, isn't it? The moments of our lives, in all the different ways they can appear, are saturated with knowingness saturated with sentience, with consciousness. So the knowing of the moment, the presence of the moment, which again, they're inseparable presence and knowing are interchangeable terms really for what's here, is completely unconditioned by the way it's looking. The presence of reality doesn't depend upon the flavor of the moment. So it could be the presence of reality could look like a moment of great sorrow and it could look like a moment of great joy, but it's always the presence of reality, isn't it? Saturated with this knowingness pervading everything, effortlessly pervading everything. The wakefulness of this moment is intrinsic to the moment. It's spontaneously here. whether it's being seemingly noticed or not, whether that presence of knowingness that's saturating everything is, it's, in a sense, we could say, you know, the noticing of that, that, that something's always here, something is always here. That continuous nature of presence, um, the beingness of the moment, the existence of this moment, is always the case, again, whether it's being recognized or not. So a moment we might describe as total non-recognition of what I just said is exactly the presence of the moment, what it looks like. It just seems to be the case that seeing that and recognizing what I'm saying um, enables us to enjoy that in a sense, much as noticing that the world is colorful enables us to appreciate the fact of the colorfulness of the world, which is always colorful, whether it's being recognized or not, but recognizing it allows a kind of appreciation of the fact of this colorfulness that we find ourselves in the midst of.
And we could say the same thing about how indivisible this, this is. That despite all of our ideas and the ways it seems to present as discrete separate phenomena, and we tend to believe that that is the case, if you just feel for a moment what's here, feel the way in which if you imagine yourself like feeling your way, like even with your hands, like through the field of experience, you're like, you know, like you're swimming through the field of experience. You never hit a wall. You never hit a boundary here. Just feel yourself swimming through the field of your experience. Literally, you are in a sense. I mean, really, it's inaccurate to put it this way because you are the field of experience because you only know what you think of as yourself as experience. So there's just this experience. So it's not really a separate person swimming through the field of experience. There's just the field of experience, but notice the way in which as you, as there is this feeling of this field, how no matter what we might think about divisibility and separation, just look and see if you can find any division anywhere. So again, the, you know, the yoga, the, the term yoga, you know, means the union, right? The yoking together. But there's really not a yoking together. There's just seeing that this is already yoked. <laughs> this is already completely together as one thing. So they call it in the supreme yoga, ati yoga is, is the yoga of recognizing that yoga is already the case. Union is already the case. Indivisibility is just the way reality is. It's undivided. It's one thing. It's one reality, one nature, one existence, appearing as, obviously, all sorts of discrete, autonomous expressions of that nature. But... It can't actually find the boundaries separating one thing from another, which is really quite something, isn't it? To feel that, to feel that, that that is the way it is. Not as a philosophy, not as something that we have to create, but as just a fact of this existence that seems undeniable when we look and feel the presence of what's here. Feel that just now, feel the way in which the sense of being a self in a world of objects just can't be found. Where, where does a self what are its edges? We are the entirety of everything being experienced. There's no, there's no place where some subject comes to an end and then the rest of the field of experience begins. There's just a seamless, fluid, dynamic flow of, of perceiving, of experiencing. There's really not one thing pushing against another, not actually one separate thing searching for some separate something else. It's not really that way, even though it can seem that way. It's just one thing. One aliveness, one reality, one, there's no words really for what this is. It's beyond words, beyond concepts beyond any possible way of designating what it is because it's boundless and infinite.
you know, we can feel ourselves as autonomous individuals. We can have the sense of that, of being bounded creatures. That you feel yourself as experience and that boundedness starts to be seen through and there's just an open-ended sort of fluid you could say energy or presence so we could feel like separate waves but when we just feel our actual wave-like dynamic fluid nature, it's like water moving in water. It's really not two things. It's water. It's a wave. What is a wave separate from the sea? Is it in a relationship to the sea? It's really just water moving with water. It's just one thing that can show up as separate wave-like emanations, but it's just actually one thing, one life, one one sea of knowing, one sea of experiencing. <laughs>